and go right to our next guest, the host of Making Money, Charles Payne, is here with us now. The last point that he made was that it, the, some of the jobs that are being added are lower productivity and lower wages, which right. actually... Jay Powell, the Fed chair, may like that because that's the sticky inflation then that isn't running so hot. What do you make of that? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Uh, this started bubbling up as a talking point. Not, you know, I, I think some of it had to do as it was part of like a, a counter uh, to the push, you know, the frustration with illegal immigration. Right, yeah. uh, now the number one topic out there. And, it, I, and I always say up front, lab, most of the labor economists, I've never met a conservative labor economist. They're all liberal, which is fine. This is, you know, but understand that there's a couple of things here. Um, they, this unemployment, you know, today we've, we had a surprise on the uh, initial jobless claims. But for the most part, it's been extraordinarily low and it's still relatively low. One of the reasons they say is that uh, because so many immigrants got these jobs in the last couple of years, mm. many of them don't qualify for unemployment insurance. So when they're laid off, they don't show up in that data. Mm. So that's something the Fed's got to uh, adjust. But, you know, something struck me. There was a tweet I saw in the, when the Key Bridge went down. Yeah. And I, I have it here. It's, um, it says that the, the men missing in the Key Bridge collapse are from El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Mexico. And, you know, their 30s, 40s, they have spouse and children. It makes you, you know, it makes you, they're, they're all hardworking and humble men. Uh, it does give you the chills. But then I said, well, <clears throat> I'm sure they're unemployed native-born folks in Baltimore. Right. So what's going on that people who may not be legally here are doing these jobs? Mm. And I think another counter-argument to this, not argument, but something that's got to be brought up, is we have a society that pays too many people, particularly young men, not to work. Right. That's a problem. That's a problem. There should have been native-born folks from Baltimore fixing that bridge, yeah. those potholes. So let me pick up on that, because you've got this debate right now, and the Wall Street Journal just wrote about this today, where you've got the so-called data on what's really going on and then the vibes that people are feeling. And the that. argument is the data's good, but the vibes are bad, and the vibes are winning right now. Of course, if you look at prices, that's one of the reasons you'd say, actually, people don't feel good. But I think you're on to something else, Charles. There's sort of a lower level, deeper level thing about the opportunities for young people getting paid not to work. And people don't like the feeling of that. You're right. And, and you know, this vibe thing came up again a couple of years ago because the media has been cr beside itself. It's lost its mind. Why don't you feel great about this? Mm -hmm. And you've got to look at our economy. One of the more frustrating things for me is that, particularly when you talk to economists, is it's always aggregate data. Mm. You know, and it's, yeah, uh, it, but the money has shifted from those in the middle and lower income folks to the richer folks. And yet, the overall, is still in the bucket, but it's shifted from this, this side of the bucket is empty. Mm. It's desperate. These, it's, de it's not a vibe. They're desperate. Their yeah. stimmy money's been gone, but the price of food is has not come down. And the money that they got, yeah, they went out and spent it because that's what they got it for. And now these other folks have it. And by the way, these other folks who buy things with it, that's fine, you know. Um, you know Restoration Hardware last week uh, had, an, had put, put out guidance. You know, right. Wealthy folks are buying stuff. That's great. Yeah. So the aggregate looks good. The consumer is buying. You know, the money is in the economy. But when you look deeper, Larry Summers, of all people, put out a great paper on this just two months ago. Right. Just two months ago. This is not a vibe. This is real life. Mm. Yeah. Let's switch gears a minute um, and go back to the markets. I want to talk about gold at new highs. Some strategists out there are saying we could see $3,000 for gold, Charles. Do you think that's possible? And also, I see silver uh, people piling into silver as an alternative, too. Silver looks fantastic on the chart, making a breakout. Uh, and also, of course, the gold-silver ratio uh, is, is like, it's, it's, it suggests that silver is a screaming buy right now. Mm. Uh, but, you know, the, the part with gold going to 3000 maybe eventually. Look how long it took to really to, to break out through 2000 yeah. I think the, one of the things here is that why is it moving like this? You know, over the last five years, it's five, six years, but m maybe more over the last three, central banks, not the major ones, not the, you know, not the European uh, ECB or, or ours, but other world central banks have been buying up all the gold mm -hmm. they can get, yeah. China, Russia, all of them. And it feels like these nations know something is wrong. And I think a lot of it is worry, concerns about the U.S. dollar. Yeah. A lot of it is concerns about the U.S. dollar, the viability of the U.S. dollar. So and there's a, always a geopolitical message when gold, because gold going up a little bit, there's been a couple sessions, it was up 4%. That's a gargantuan move for gold in a single session. Right. Good Charles. Point.
We love having you. I love being here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> right, Jackie, do you know you. what I'm going to say next? No. Where's my gold bar? Still waiting. <laughs> I told you yesterday. Still waiting. You're going to be waiting a while. One of these days, Jackie's going to well, buy a gold bar. Can you give her an air ring until then? <laughs>